today is, um, I always say December, I don't know why, February 18th, and um, we have a wonderful guest speaker, Miss Kayla, and I'm not even going to try to say your last name, Kayla, <laughs> <laughs> but Kayla um, is here. I actually uh, guest spoke on Jen Guthrie's team call, and Kayla is a part of Jen's team, and she, um, Kayla also spoke that night, and I was just really blown away by her passion for her business and just some aha moments that she had um, in her tracking system that has completely done, I think, probably 360 on your business, Kayla. Um, so, um, and it shows through her hard work and her efforts. So, um, I wanted her to come and speak to you guys about that today. And she is going to deliver a wonderful call. Um, but before I let her take the floor, she has graciously allowed me just to do um, some announcements with you guys this morning. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just share my screen really quickly here um, to do some announcements. And so we're going to have Kayla talk in just a minute. I um, just wanted to kind of touch base with everybody about what's coming up um, this week um, for me and my business, um, just so you're aware and you can kind of um, know what's going on on the team. Um, tomorrow night, I wanted to draw to your attention. I posted this in our different phases of training groups um, this morning, but the dream team is hosting an amazing power hour call with some, um, I think it's four coaches that they selected from the team. They're of all levels. Um, and they, um, those power hour calls guys are so awesome. So what you do is you request to join, um, Melanie's Facebook group. And during the power hour, they post tips and advice for um, going through each step of your power, your invites, your connections, checking in with your challengers. They give you those tips and keep you on task. And it only lasts an hour. They bang through it in an hour. Um, and along the way, you can do your power hour and kind of get great tips um, just to get started um, and really finish this month strong. We only have one week left. So Everybody Sunday night should be doing their power hour anyway. You might as well join in on the dream team and learn some tips. Um, I get so much out of those calls every time I join in. So I want you to make that your little weekly assignment, your little priority that you're going to devote to hopping on that power hour call. I know it's hard on a Sunday night, but it will be worth it, guys. Um, it will set your week up for great intention and get some um, really great invites out there as we go through the last week of the month. Um, Monday. I am personally running a challenge group, um, Love Yourself Fit. If anybody needs a home for their challengers, shoot me a message today. I've already created the challenge tracker group. I already have my challengers in there, and I am ready to roll with that. So if you have challengers that you need to add in as well, um, let me know. I know some people on my page are running groups next Monday, which is great too. I'm glad you guys have teamed up and devoted to that. Um, but if you do need a home for a challenger, just let me know. They can be um, new, past, or current challengers. Um, they are all welcome. Um, also, we have week three of our phase one coach training. Um, our coach training group has been a little bit quiet. I kind of talked to the leaders in there. Um, I think, though, um, after talking to my coaches one on one, um, I realized things are going well for them, though. Like they're inviting and they're they're getting out there on social media and people are messaging them after their all calls. I had no idea because they haven't really um, expressed those things in the group. But um, from behind the scenes, they, ha they do seem to be doing well. So just make sure that if you are um, a leader in that group, I encourage my ladies to please comment on those posts and please post in the group just so we can cheer them on along the way um, and give them great feedback because that's what our job is, is their mentor. So I kind of give them a kick in the booty there um, when we did have our one-on-one -on -one calls just to encourage them to do that. Um, and they have so far. So hopefully that continues and you can do the same with your coaches and just keep up with that good behind the scene work, you know, messaging them, sending them those resources we've been creating um, to share with them. Also, just always remember, um, Tuesday nights are the Classically Fit Calls that Allie hosts. She always has great content. Those are 8.30 8 p.m. If you can try to hop on those calls, too, if you are interested, you are always more than welcome. Um, and then next Saturday, um, you can mark your calendars. We will not have a team call. I'll actually be out in L.A. at Leadership, um, New Leader Conference. So um, 
be sure, I'm sure I will be popping in to share what I'm learning there and to share with you guys the amazing experience that's going on and I'll keep you up to date on everything I learned, but we will not have a formal 8 a.m. team call. Um, so just keep an eye on the page for maybe some live videos and just updates from corporate and, you know, from all that cool stuff going on at New Leader Conference. Now, um, does anybody, before I move on, does anyone else have some, anything going on this week or any comments on our little week ahead? Okay, cool. If you do, you can always hop in. Um, big news. I officially, um, the moment we've been waiting for, our summit house, I have booked one of them. So um, if you've been updated, keeping up to date on our team page, um, we posted in there, Chelsea did. Uh, last week and I well I posted a live video to you about what summit's all about guys coach summit is like a big freaking coach party um, if you can think about like super Saturday is times 1,000 um, it's just an amazing time it's in um, New Orleans this year J July 12th I believe um, is the day I booked the house to for us to get there Wednesday through um, through Sat Sunday so we'll check in Wednesday night if you if your travel plans allow you to do that, the actual events don't start um, till later on. Um, I think really officially, there's some things that go on Thursday night, but Friday and Saturday are like the core of Summit. Um, you spend the entire day on your track. You choose a track, and that takes you to different trainings, different workouts every day. Um, there's a Shakeology bar. There's the core where you can go shopping with like it's literally like the beach body shopping heaven. It's probably my favorite part of Summit, and it's just really, really, really fun. And we all stay together. So I booked this one of our houses. It sleeps. It says 10, but comfortably it has three bedrooms, which queen-size beds, that's six people, and then a pull-up couch for two people. So comfortably it fits eight. So hopefully we'll be able to just do eight um, because Chelsea, I booked one home Chelsea's going to go ahead and book the sister house um, right next door. It looks pretty much the exact same. Um, it's the same owner, Michael. Um, and um, that will give us all space to stay together at Summit. So we can kind of all be a part of one and just like split up to go to sleep and things like that. Um, so what we've done, um, and we kind of, we understand that, you know, putting out, like, it's going to end up being around $200 for your accommodations to stay in this home. Um, it's really, really convenient to the location. Last year, we just grabbed Ubers to get to the events. It was super easy and simple, and we'll do the same in New Orleans. So um, what we have done, we totally understand, like, okay, forking out $200 is a lot, um, you know, being so far away. Maybe something you weren't kind of expecting and something that you weren't prepared for. So we know that, and that is fine. We just need you to um, fill out this doc, and we'll post it in the team page right after this call. And basically, I think Chelsea just put the names in that she knew for sure we're going. Um, you'll need to give us, um, you'll, we'll figure out, we'll divvy out the houses, um, and it doesn't like, it doesn't matter. Like if you're in my house or Chelsea's house, like that, that doesn't matter. We can figure out all those arrangements when we get there, who's sleeping where, like that doesn't matter. Um, but the in full amount, I think she put 250. Um, so, um, then what we'll do is divvy it up by, you can pay us in $50 increments, um, leading up to summit. So, um, what we'll do like so you'll just in order our our payments for our cards that we put them on are due in the beginning of the month so um and we figured everybody kind of gets paid towards the end of the month so hopefully this will work for you um but due by like march 1st we need 50 dollars. due by april 1st so you can pay us in those 50 dollars increments so that you um instead of paying it in the lump sum or if you want you can pay us in the lump sum um you know, if you just want to get it out of the way, that's totally fine too. Um, but it's easiest if we do through PayPal, if you don't mind doing that, just send us your money, um, through there. And once we figure out who's going where, we'll tell you if you're going to send your money to Chelsea or to me. So hopefully that makes sense. And we'll kind of get the kinks all worked out behind the scenes too. But what really is super important right now is that if you are going if you are, you know, if you have your ticket or you, you, you're going to get a ticket, you need to put your name in here. If you're committing to go to Summit, 
which you seriously all should be, you need to put your name in the stock. And then you need to kind of tell us, like, how are you going to pay? Are you going to pay it in full? Or are you going to pay it in those $50 increments? So um, just so we are aware um, and just out of fairness to us all. Um, okay. Oh, Chelsea, 250 was an estimate for now. We'll get the final amount verified when we get closer and everyone's arriving. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, you know, maybe it, might, it will come time for June and we won't need any more money, you know, when July 1st rolls around, um, depending. Because I know a lot of people, too, uh, are waiting to see, you know, if they reach that last month of success starters and things like that um, to know if they're coming. Um, I know Aaron and Callie are kind of unsure about what residency will hold for them. So, you know, we'll work with you guys. But if you have a ticket, put your name on this list. And we, you need to make sure so we know you have a place to stay. Um, so we will post that in the team page right after the call so you can update that doc. Are there any questions on that? Or Chelsea, is there anything like you're kind of like my organizer of <laughs> this whole thing. Is there anything you wanted to add? Did I explain that like the way you envisioned it? <laughs> no, that sounds good. Um, yeah, I was going to say, like, once we have everyone added into the list, um, then we'll probably lock it, and then we'll mark, like, when those payments are received, just so, like, we can keep track, and there's not too many hands in the pot. Um, but, yeah, once we'll put assign everyone's email, and then we'll go from there. It should be pretty easy. Let us know if you have any questions. Yeah. All right. Any questions about Summit in general, about tickets, about things like that? No, it's amazing. If you're still, if you're toiling between going and not going, you need to go. Like it is a game changer for your business and it's just super fun. Um, just spend, you know, four days with your team and all of Beachbody. You get to meet a lot of really cool people. So, all right, one last thing. I have to find my, oh, I hate when it does this. Sorry. Just wanted to quickly recognize our leaders this week. Congrats to Stephanie and Ashley Smith and Ashley C. They have all um, joined the Success Club train. So good job for you guys. Great for you. Um, and everybody else, there's lots of new names on this board. Jillian, Lauren, Lindsay, Brittany, Chelsea, and Jenna. They all have points on the board. I'm sure even from, this was from Thursday, so I'm sure there's even more out there. Don't forget about Team Cut Month. Don't forget about, you know, just showing up, guys. If you're sending five invites a day and it's not working for you, send ten. You know, like up the ante and just, it, this is the time to shine. This is the time to make it happen. You don't want to let your Team Cut teams down. You want to, you know, make the, this last week of the month really, really count. Um, and take advantage of your All Access Pass three points while you can. It's going away. So it's, it's here to stay at $199, which is incredible. But guess what? Those, uh, those um, successful points, you can only get those three points for this last week of the month. So make sure you take advantage of that um, to hit Success Club this month um, because it's going away. It's your last chance. And special kudos to our top producers, Ashley and Lindsay Maloney. Wonderful job this week ladies. All right, let's finish strong. So Kayla, do you have slides you wanted to share? Okay, I'm going to stop my share then, and I'm going to hand it over to Kayla, and she's going to talk about how she has some aha moments in her tracking system, and just, I'm just going to let her go with it, and she is an amazing coach, and I hope you guys brought your notebooks to take some awesome notes, because when I was on her call, I was like, jotting notes down like crazy. <laughs> All right, Kayla, take it away. Thanks, Liesl. Um, so I, let me share my screen. Hold on. Okay. Can, can y'all see my screen? Okay. Okay. So, um, Liesl just asked me to kind of talk about what's been kind of working for me. Um, I guess kind of like the past month, um, I've kind of really taken a step back and just kind of reevaluated my business, um, and just kind of, looked at what was working and what wasn't working um, and just kind of went from there. So I'm just going to talk a little bit today about like doing the basics. Um, so I kind of broke it down into like three, well, first of all, some of you probably don't know me. So um, just a little bit about me. So I'm kind of, I have a really busy job. Um, I travel about 75% of the time um, for work. And then I also travel personally as well. Um, so my family, I live in Nashville, Tennessee, but my family lives, um, in South Mississippi. So 
I go home a lot um, to see them. I travel a lot to see my friends um, that live across the U.S. So constantly on the go, um, really busy lifestyle. Um, I'm a dog mom. That's my little fur baby down there in the middle. I love him. Um, and, you know, I, like I said, I travel a lot. Um, love the beach. Love coffee. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. So like I said, um, I kind of broke down what I've been doing like into three groups. Um, you know, I, I guess like a month ago I was feeling really overwhelmed. Um, and I kind of like just, I'm just gonna be honest. I kind of questioned my decision to like be a coach. Um, I felt really busy with my full time job. Um, I just, I felt really overwhelmed. So I kind of had to look at everything and kind of see what I needed to be doing that was the most important um, and that would help me be the most successful. So I felt like I was spending a lot of time, and I'm sure probably a lot of you feel this way as well, um, on like, you know, creating pretty posts and, you know, checking, looking at Facebook every 10 minutes. Um, I felt really distracted in my full-time job. I just was like all over the place. I wasn't keeping track of anything. I, I talked to people all the time and just, you know, forget what I even talked to them about. So I just felt really, um, really anxious about that. So I kind of just, you know, broke it up into what I needed to be doing. That was the most important. Um, and I've been doing that for, like I said, about a month and it's just really paid off. Um, so some things I've been doing is, you know, the four vital behaviors, obviously, um, tracking my business and then just connecting with my team and just kind of taking all all three of those things um, and prioritizing them and just really focusing on that, doing all of that in that one hour. Um, like I said, I just felt like I was spending so much time on my business um, and I just don't have that time. I don't have that extra time in the day. Um, I, you know, I just have an hour. Um, you know, and some of you may have more, some of you may be doing this full time, but you know, I'm still doing my full time job um, and that's something I plan to be doing for quite a while. Um, so this was something I wanted to do as well, beach body coaching. So I just had to, you know, figure out a way to make it happen. So this is kind of like what I did. Um, and you know, we all know the four vital behaviors, but you know, being a product of the product, inviting, um, you know, make sure you do your personal development. I'm really bad about this, bad about this one, about this one, about this one in the days that I don't. Um, you know, it makes a huge difference. Um, and then just like recognizing your team, um, and you know, your, your fellow coaches, like I don't, some of you may be, I'm a fairly new coach. Um, I became a coach in August of last year, so still pretty new. Um, but you know, I do have a team as well. Um, like Jen said, I'm one of, I mean like, sorry, not Jen, Liesl, <laughs> like Liesl said, I'm one of Jen's coaches. Um, but I have my own team as well. Um, and so just kind of taking the time to you know, let them know that they're doing a good job. Um, and you know, just having that, developing those friendships. Um, it, it really helps you personally and, and it helps your team too. So, um, and you know, that's ultimately why I think most of us became a coach is to help people. So, um, you know, make sure we're doing that as well. So this is just kind of like some things, um, you know, like I said, being a product of the product, um, you know, share your transformations and obviously you don't have to like you know, if you're not comfortable, you know, sharing images like of yourself in a sports bra or whatever, you don't have to. And it, you know, I know like I have a lot of people on our team that, um, you know, don't have like major physical transformations. Like that's not necessarily, you know, your fault, but you can share other things. I know when I first started, um, you know, some major things that were happening for me where, you know, I, I used to be tired all the time. So, um, drinking Shakeology and working out. I had all this great energy. Um, you know, my skin was better. My hair was longer. Um, all of those things are things that people can relate to and that people want. Um, so just sharing that really helps, um, you know, kind of get that traction and um, get, get people interested in what you're doing. So, um, you know, keep sharing those things, uh, being a product of the product. Um, these are two personal development books that I personally um, – have really liked. I'm not finished with you. You're a badass. Sorry, y'all. Um, but it's, it's been a really good book and it's kind of really, you know, kept me in check. Um, so make sure you're doing those, um, that personal development. It's only 10 minutes. Um, and you know, you can do the audio books too. I personally like to read a real book more, but I do find myself like if I'm traveling, like in the car, like I'll just, you know, turn someone. So 
that one's really important. Um, and like I said, if you're not doing it, you know, you really need to be doing it. Um, cause you'll, you'll really tell a difference. Like I said, in the days that you do it. Um, so also, so this is kind of the main thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And what I talked about, um, on the call that Lisa was mentioning is tracking your business. So this is the power hour tracker that I've been using for the past um, month. And I think Lisa has it, but if not, I'll, um, I'll share it with her. Okay, good. You have it. Um, so it's very simple. Like you can see, um, I did not create this. I found it on Pinterest, but, um, the way it's laid out just really, I don't know, it works for me and it may not work for you. That's something that I recommend. You find something that's best, um, for yourself, but find something. Don't just rely on Facebook messenger or your phone or whatever. Like you're, you, you will lose track of things. Um, I know I did. So, um, I keep it really simple and kind of like Lisa mentioned earlier, if, you, if you're not getting enough traction with, you know, five invites or, you know, five new combos, do more. I mean, you, it's not limited by that. Um, I just always make sure that I do at least that. Um, and I write it down. So what I do is I kind of go through this whole thing, um, you know, adding new friends. Um, and I just, I write down the night before who I think I'm going to, um, invite and start new combos with and whatnot. And then I just check the boxes, um, the next day when I do it. So it just kind of, I don't know, I'm a pen and paper kind of person. I don't know. And there's teams and that kind of stuff too, that you can use. Um, but this just really works for me. And then there's also like a little section on the bottom, like number seven, that's usually where I write in what I'm going to post about that day. I'm a, I'm a three post a day kind of person. Um, some of you may do more, but I, I make sure I do at least three. So that's usually where I put those in the night before. Um, so just so I have an idea of what I'm going to post about. Um, and, you know, and then there's the little bottom section of um, product of the product. So making sure I get all those things in as well. So it's just kind of all there on one page. I don't feel like, you know, it's too small or I can't see anything. Like it's just, you know, and then I look at um, the previous ones throughout the week so that I don't lose track of people. Um, so it's just really helped me. Um, like I was mentioning on our call, when I first implemented this, it was right before um, Melanie's power hour. So I, I think that was like three weeks ago. I don't really remember. Um, and I was at success club two, I believe. And so I went from success club two that Sunday and I think it was like Wednesday or Thursday. It was like only a few days. Um, I went from success club two to success club 11. And this is the only thing I did differently. Um, and so I just really encourage you to track your business. Um, you know, I, like I said, I was feeling really overwhelmed, I was hitting success club later and later in the month. I would only do these things come, you know, the, the 28th, <laughs> the 29th, when I realized I only had, you know, two points on the board or none. Um, and then I just was really scrambling. Um, and I, I feel like if you just do this every day, you know, your one hour, um, you'll find yourself really like I said, really less stressed, um, and, and more organized and more successful. Um, so, and you know, this month I've been doing it and it's been kind of a slow month, but I'm, I'm at success club six. So, um, I'm happy with that. Yeah. And so kind of my goal this year is to be at success club 10 every month at least. So, um, so yeah. And then I guess finally it's just kind of, and you know, this is just up to you how, how you want to see this, but, um, is connecting with your team. This is something that I've been doing a lot more recently. Um, and, and it really does help me. Like it, it helps me stay, um, you know, feel like I'm a part of something. And I really encourage you. I, you know, I know Lisa, I'm sure would be more than happy to do one-on-ones with all of you if she doesn't already. I'm sure she does, but, um, doing that with Jen has really helped me. She kind of keeps me grounded and I kind of let her know what I, um, you know, what I want for that month or what I want to achieve that year. And, you know, she tells me, you know, well, I think we should focus on this, this, and this. Um, and just kind of having that other opinion. I mean, I know a lot of us are focused on like our business and like, you know, how we can grow, you know, ourselves, but having that team culture is just, I think really beneficial. Um, and, you know, like I said earlier, you know, focus on your power hour, get that done first. Um, but you know, participate in your team page when you get time. Um, you know, it only takes a couple minutes to check in there. Um, and, and that's on the power hour tracker to check that off. Um, and then also, I don't know if y'all do this, Liesl or not, but 
Um, having a success club partner has really helped me. Um, that's her. Lauren is one of mine, um, in the picture on the right. And we're actually the best of friends now. I didn't even know her before. And she came and visited Nashville over Christmas. Um, and we hadn't even met yet. And we just hung out and spent the whole like evening together, her and her sister. So, um, I really encourage y'all to do that. And then also like beach body sponsored events. So this is just a picture of us at Jen's house, like at Christmas time. Um, and we just all got together and like hung out and, you know, we honestly really didn't even talk about Beachbody stuff that much, but just, you know, being around like like-minded people, um, that are after the same things as you, is just, I think really beneficial. So like Lisa said, I just really think it's best to, to go out and do those Beachbody events like summit, um, and all those things like they're, they're just right there for you. Um, and I think it's a really good opportunity. It's a really good networking opportunity. Um, and it's just a you know, a potential for you to grow, um, personally and in your business as well. So, um, so yeah, but that's kind of all that I had. I don't want to take up too much of y'all's morning. Um, but does anyone have any questions? So you said, okay. you said oh, go ahead. go ahead. I was just going to give you back. I was saying, there you go. <laughs> I could hear myself talking back. It was weird. Um, so you sit down. I, I like that idea how you sit down the night before and you already have the names of like the people that you're going to invite or follow up with. I, I think that's awesome. And then all you have to do is check them off, right? Yeah. So do you keep your, like, do you, how do you organize all your papers? I mean, like being a paper person, can you kind of like take, give us a little insight, like how you're keeping track of that all? So I usually, what I've been doing, um, like I said, I've only been doing this tracker for like a little less than a month. So I've been keeping them in a binder. And I think what I'm going to do is have like a little binder for each month. Um, and then I've thought, I've used Teamsy before. So I've thought about kind of, I don't know, I don't want to create more work for myself. Um, but I've thought about even like implementing it into that. Um, but I, I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just kind of putting it in a binder in and going with it from there. Um, I sort it by the week. So like I have like a tab for like each week. Um, and I have the whole month in one binder and I think I'm just going to start a new, like just a little like binder or something. Um, I think I'm going to start a new one for the month, but as far as like the night before, so I'll kind of go through my posts for the day. Like I, I know it said like yesterday's post likes. So I'll go for my posts for that day and just write those down. And I kind of use those names as like, you know, starting new combos. I, I personally, I don't know what a lot of you do, but I'm really bad at cold inviting. Like I just don't feel comfortable doing that. So I always start like a conversation. Um, and then those people say a couple days later are the people that I'm inviting. And I found that to really work, um, versus just flat out saying like, Hey, I saw you liked my post. Like, are you interested in challenge group? You know, what I usually say is kind of something like, um, you know, Hey girl, um, you know, I really appreciate the support on my post. It really means a lot to me. How have you been doing? Like I, I see pictures of your kids all the time and they're just adorable, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and that just goes so much further. I find that, um, when I just say things personally, when I just say things like, Hey girl, I saw you like my post. Um, I was just wondering, are you interested in a challenge group at all? I find those messages, even if they work sometimes, I find them to get ignored a lot. Um, and, and I feel like when I start that initial conversation, like people know that I'm interested in the, the actual lives more than just, you know, joining a group. And I, and I genuinely am. Um, so I, I just, I get a lot more um, from that than just cold inviting personally. Yeah, I think we're all on the same page here on our team too. <laughs> we like that genuine invite and um, just really t connecting. That's the coolest part of our business that we get to just talk to people all day. Oh, not all day, but every single day about their life. And people like to talk about their life too. So that's important. That's really important. Our, now, when you have conversations and you're tracking, um, do you – like, do you have any special, like, markings for people, like, who talk to you or, like, like, how are you keeping track of the ones that answer your messages and that you want to follow up with later? Like, how are you kind of tracking that? Yeah, as far as, like, um, follow-ups and stuff, I will write those, like, on the next day, um, like, in the follow-up section, I'll do that. But as far as, like, 
um, individual conversations. Like, I don't know about y'all, but some people I talk to like would be like a really good coach. So I, um, I kind of started doing like a highlighting system, um, where I do a different color for like each, um, type of what I think they would be like a, like an all access challenge pack. I do a color, um, a regular challenge pack. I do a color and then a coach. I do a color. So that way when I look back, I can just kind of say, Oh, this person wants this. That way I'm not like scrolling through their message, trying to figure out what we were talking about. Um, so well, I kind of, I'm that. so glad you said that. That's something I need to work on. Cause I'm always taking that time to like, okay, what did I talk to them about? Like, what did it, you know, like, what if I sent them so far? And like, you know, like having that right there as a color would be great. That's a really good idea. I love that. All right. Who else has questions for Kayla? Anyone else? I have a question. Okay. Go for it. So I love how you mentioned that you stay really connected with your team page. Um, have you ever had times where you noticed yourself slipping away and did it affect your business? Um, yeah, actually, probably. So like I said, I travel a lot for my job. Um, and so usually my travel is pretty like not long trips. Um, I'll usually be gone just like a couple days in the week, but I have a lot of like internal meetings. Um, that'll be like a week long. So I actually have one coming up this week, but I had one two weeks ago and I pretty much was working like, I don't know, seven in the morning to like whenever I went to bed. And I just found myself like feeling really disconnected from like everyone on my team. Um, like Lauren, like I was saying, my success club partner, I don't think I had talked to her in like a, over a week and I just felt really, um, I don't know, this is kind of a cheesy way to say it, but I felt kind of sad and I just kind of had to, you know, bring myself back and say, Hey guys, I'm really sorry. I've been kind of, you know, disconnected. Um, I'm still here. And you know, I was still active on my team page. I was still doing my power hour and that kind of thing, but I just didn't have that extra time to just really, you know, connect with my teammates. And it, I do really think it, it made a difference. Like I said, um, you know, I feel like that week I wasn't really, um, I feel like I wasn't as genuine in my invites. I felt like I wasn't, um, as genuine in my connections with people, um, just because I wasn't surrounded by that, you know, that atmosphere of my team page, that positive, um, you know, and, and I really, I'm a blue personality, but I really thrive off of like, I guess kind of like competition. I know that sounds stupid, but I don't know. Like when I see like one of my success club partners or someone like doing really well or someone in my team cup, like doing really well, I'm like, Oh man, I want to, I want to be there. So I think that kind of really, you know, checking in like on my page with that kind of stuff really helps too. I like that you use that as a motivation in a positive way rather than making it, you push away from it. Cause I think if you kind of fall off track and then you go back in, you see people having success. It's almost like deters you sometimes from getting back in. But I like that you look at it like, you know, we're all in this together and it's a positive thing. So I love those tips. Thank you. Thanks girl. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I have a question. It's kind of more basic, but is your Facebook public or private? Okay. So right now my Facebook is actually private, but the only reason that is, is because, um, I, and I, I recommend making it public. I really do. Um, and I know that we kind of emphasize that and I've, I've been on the fence about it for quite some time. Um, I'm just in a very professional like role and, I've had a lot of my coworkers that, so I'm kind of young for the role that I'm in. A lot of people that I work with are like older, which is fine. Yeah. But it's, I've had a lot of friend requests from them and I just don't feel comfortable like having, I don't know. And it shouldn't matter because, you know, ultimately like what I'm doing is to help everyone. Um, but I just, I, I just don't feel comfortable sharing like my personal life with all of them. Um, and so I just haven't yet, but I think I actually probably will, to be honest. I, that is something I recommend. It just hasn't been something I've done yet, to be honest. Okay. That's something I'm struggling with as well. It's, I want to be taken professionally at my full-time job. And at the same time, blending those worlds is, can be a difficult balance because if they see that I'm posting three times a day, I don't want them to lack my integrity of the work that I'm doing for their corporate. You know, I, I, I can relate um, definitely to that. And something that um, 
that I've kind of done too, as far as um, kind of social media is I don't post anything on my Instagram. I do everything through Facebook. Um, and that's where I, the sole place where I've done my business. So like, as far as like my, you know, coworkers and stuff, like I will add them like on Instagram. Um, so they don't think I'm like just a total like rude person. Um, and then they can still see what's going on in my life. Um, and I personally have, have a pretty large network. So I haven't really had to rely on making my, my, um, Facebook public yet. Um, you know, I think it's a, I think it's ultimately where you want to take this, right? Like, so if, if you want to replace your full-time job with this one day, like there, obviously there will be some point when you need to make your Facebook pro, like public. Um, but I think as far as like, if you have like a pretty large network, I think as long as you're consistently like adding new friends and that's something I do, like I make sure I add at least five new friends. So those you're, you're building your network that way. And I don't think it's going to really hurt you that you're profile is not public. That's my personal opinion. Um, as long as you're consistently adding, um, to your network because you don't want to like run out of people to invite. Right. And I, I don't think the mat, the market is saturated. Like, so I don't think you will, but, um, just to make sure that you, you know, you have enough people in there it would be kind of my tip. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> oh, thanks girl. I appreciate it. Any other questions? Well, I have one more. If there's, I'll let everybody have a chance to. All right, I have one more for you. So you mentioned that you were at a point at one time where you, you questioned deeply, like majorly, your decision to be a coach and that you almost threw in the towel. So if you, I know there might be people on this call that maybe feel the same way. They're totally overwhelmed. Um, they're not seeing the success that they want. Maybe they want to give up right now, right here, right now. They want to give up. So what would you say to them right now um, that the, your number one piece of advice to somebody that was in the same shoes as you were not long ago and just kind of share with them, you know, to help them maybe see the light or I don't know. I'm going to stop talking. Share with them the one thing that you would do if you were them. Yeah. Like, you know, know, really, the thing that made you not quit. I think, I honestly don't think that there, I could pinpoint just one thing. Um, but I just felt like I kept thinking about it. Um, I felt like I, you know, got to that point where I wanted to quit, but then I sat there and thought about how different my life would be if I did. Um, and, and I kind of just took a look at, you know, what, how far I've come in the past, you know, I don't know, seven months or so. Um, and, in the positive, like atmosphere I'm around, um, you know, I just felt like I couldn't, I, I couldn't imagine my like day without that. I couldn't imagine, um, you know, just going back to the way I was before. Um, and so like, I just, I, I just think ultimately it's like how important, um, is this to you? Um, and, and I just felt like it was really important to me. Um, I, I knew that if I kind of fell off track, I'd probably fall off track, um, personally as well. You know, I, I didn't have the healthiest, um, you know, lifestyle before I, I was doing all kinds of crazy crash diets and like, it just was not in a good place. Um, and this kind of made me in a good place. Um, you know, physically, but also mentally as well, being surrounded by people that were, you know, fighting for the same things as myself. Um, and just having that positive energy, like on my Facebook newsfeed every day, just, I, I couldn't imagine my day without that, honestly. Um, and you know, I just, I feel like I've made a commitment to my team and I just don't want to let my team down. Um, and you know, that's just kind of something that's really stuck with me. And I guess my best piece of advice would be to kind of just really, like I said, take a step back and just really look at what you're doing because I kind of, I'm sure you're probably like me in some sense and you were, you're probably spending way more time doing things that you don't need to be doing. Um, and just really kind of, taking it back to the basics. Um, just do your power hour. I mean, and, and something our team even does, I don't know if y'all do this, but if you don't have a consecutive hour, like do it in pockets. You know, if you have 10 minutes, like six times throughout the day, okay, that's fine. You can just kind of break it up. Um, cause I know like, especially when I'm in meetings, like I said, I'm, I'm in meetings from 
the time I wake up until the time I go to bed. So I'll have like a 10 minute break and I'll just send like three messages. And you know, you don't have to just sit there and do it all in one hour. So just don't let yourself get overwhelmed um, and just kind of, you know, simplify it. Don't, don't focus on, you know, the, the nitty gritty, I guess. That is awesome. I know I put you on the spot a little bit and you know, yes. so good job. <laughs> um, you truly have been an inspiration for us. I think as a team, just to remind us that, you know what guys, this is not a complicated business. We can do amazing, incredible things just by taking a step back and looking at what we want um, out of this. And to just that simple approach, finding a tracking system, like that's, just something like that, um, just completely, you know, within like less than a week of your business, completely turn things around for you. You've hit success club again. It's just the guys, the success leaves clues. And what Kayla is doing is something that we can all take away today and really implement in our business, no matter where we're at. So Kayla, thank you so much for being on to this morning. And thank you all for taking time this Saturday morning, just to move your business forward and get some inspiration and Let's take it and run with it. The most important thing now when you come on these calls is you need to take what you learn and go implement it and go do it. So that's my call for you today. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday, ladies. Thank you again, Kayla. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.